All right. Here we go again. I am going to go all in on Moscow again. I know. Tell me I shouldn't. And you're right. I shouldn't. But again, I'm trying to speed my games up. Um, I just commented to Emre. I stopped using calculators. I, got, I had to I have to start two more league games. And I've only got a month to get all these games wrapped up. Um, so I'm going in and I told him I'm just not even using my calculator in my games. So, okay, I used the calculator once here. I did pull out the calculator for this for an all-out um, go on uh, Moscow and I don't know. And maybe I hope I didn't count do a miscount. There's a good chance I probably did somewhere, but but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and build out and uh, we're gonna make a Moscow run here. I think additionally I looked I can move into twenty two. And and what made me decide this just just you know he's got all these fighters I've been worried about, but I noticed that eight of his fighters were out of range of Moscow this this turn. And the chances of it staying that way are small and none and probably no so he's probably gonna move these guys down off six of these here to next turn and then it's just gonna be falling behind again. So I just feel like or seven of these, you know, I feel like I got a chance again, so we're just going to go with it. Meanwhile, he's got two boats that can hit 22. He's got, uh, this one can just fly into Brazil. These two could go one, two, three, four. They, they could just fly into Brazil, and he can land two fighters from here or from here that are four away. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he could land two of those fighters onto this carrier, um, that could stop there. So he's got two fighters, four, five fighters, carrier destroyer. So seven units that could hit me. Of course, he then has a fighter there, whatever. I've got two, five, six, seven, eight surface units I could put in there as well. Still stuff some subs in there as well. Um, I may even be able to keep one destroyer out to go sub hunting because we do got these subs that we got to deal with because I'm not going to build another sub. Uh, excuse me, another um, destroyer this turn, which is going to put me at risk because he's got his sub sitting here. I am going to go ahead and use him to block right into here. These sea zones are dead zoned by this guy anyways, unless I build ships, so I'm not going to leave transports in here. All my transports going in here. Uh, but let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. With the destroyer here, you know, he'll probably attack it and go for the 50-50 odds, and if he wins... And then I got four destroyers sitting here. He's got a sub here. He's got his uh, bomber sitting here, and I'll be kind of dead zoned. But I'm not going to be building any ground units this turn, so I could fly away for a turn. So um, because we're building all bombers, so we had 60 IPC, so we're building us five bombers, and we're going for Moscow. Um, but yeah. My whole thing was talking about just sticking my fleet here. If he wants to throw fighters and air, that's great because I want to take units away from Berlin because even if I take Moscow, the next step is i got to get to Berlin and save Berlin. So uh, the other step I am going to take, I'm going to go ahead and put my carrier, loaded carrier here so that um, we could fly fighters in there as well as the fighters could hit here. Um, if I took the two fighters out of the Moscow, it takes it down to 80%. Because, like I said, I did do the calculator this time with the fighters. It's a 90% chance this time that I take Moscow. And it's going to be a one-shot game, one-shot one go. It's like 90. I'm rerunning at 92 because <laughs> Emery just made a joke at me that I do it down to the percent. So here we go. I'm letting, it, letting the calculator run. It is going to be a 90 1.9% according to the calculator right now. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to go for it. Here we go. At the same time, I am going to achieve my goal, hopefully, of dead zoning this at the very least if I decide to bail. If something happens and I'm like, okay, never mind, we're not going to do that. Now, the tanks that have some freedom... Uh, other than this guy, yeah, you know what, even this one, I think we're going to bite back on a few of these tanks here. Because I am going to pull the calculator out again, I think. And just make sure I get my tanks distributed among here, here, and here. 
so that there's not an easy strafe or something. I don't know. Um, so I, I want to make sure my, my forces are balanced between all of them. You know what I... I goofed, I did goof up my calculator. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's going to be 80% to start with, with the fighters, because I forgot to build artillery for here. This is what I get when I start going too quick. Okay, so anyway, it's still an 80% shot. I guess I'm happy with that. At, at a 77 profit, so even if I can't finish it out, you know, hopefully we're going to have some good profit, even if it goes south again, and uh, we'll just keep pushing units again. So, whoops, there's another goofo by me. But we're going to go with it. At least I get to attack something with Japan this turn. I really feel like I need to move all the tanks to West Russia because there is the UK and Corellia plus those 12 fighters. So I imagine that's probably a good thing for him. So, ah, dang it. Why is his infantry guy keep hitting back? We don't need to do that. So, fighters. One, two, three. They cannot hit me. Any bombers. <laughs> they can hit my stinking bombers I'm going to build. I've learned that. I failed to it twice to him. So, I don't think there's bombers that can hit me. So, I think we can go ahead and push forward. Oh, son of a gun. I can't take all of them. Because <laughs> I'm building bombers here. I'm not going to have anybody here. I almost just gave him Tokyo. One, two. Oh, wait. No, he can't reach. Right? Is he in season 65? Yeah, he's in 65. So he can go one, two. He can come to here. But he can't take Tokyo. Okay. Tokyo is safe. No one's in 64. Yes, okay, so we're okay. There's only three infantry there. That's at a risk. I gotta be careful with my fighter placements because 12 fighters can smoke them wherever, they, wherever I land them, so... Put the fighter down here, I think. These fighters, one, two, three, can't do anything. They can't reach. Yeah, we're just going to deal back here. All right, tanks. I'm going to pause because I am going to pull the calculator again just for this moment because this is a bit risky. I'm almost positive this is what I need to do. 
So that'd give me 20 here, 19 here, 16. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We may need to pull a couple of these guys. We could pull a couple of those guys around. So that's what I'm going to check. I think so. We got 19. We got 16. So let's go down to 18, 17. I think I'd rather it be more here because of those guys. So I think that's it. I'm going to do a quick calculator to see if this is a good or not. And uh, we'll finalize this. Okay, yeah, I'm lazy. I'm not going to use a calculator after all. I did one, one scan of the Russians attacking there and just decided I'm just... I'm just burnt out. We're just going to do this. There we go. I can't do anything about it now. It's said and done. We'll keep them at least safe out of the range. Alright. I don't know. Y'all can run your calculators and figure out whether this was a uh, a good move or not. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of like, eh, maybe it wasn't since I forgot to build there. But, whatever. This too, I didn't actually do any calculations on this. I just like, eh, we can... Maybe disrupt their shipping around again a little bit. Anything that we can do to slow U.S. just a little bit. So that's the idea. We'll see what happens.